Ever wondered how these enchanting sea creatures with horse-like faces are farmed without harming fragile ocean ecosystems? Seahorses captivate us with their unique biology and delicate needs, making traditional farming a challenge. As demand grows for aquariums and medicine, cutting-edge technology is stepping in to revolutionize seahorse farming. From AI monitoring to sustainable systems, this guide uncovers how science is transforming seahorse care, protecting wild populations while delivering quality products. Stay with us as we explore every step of this fascinating process, from breeding to harvesting and beyond. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing insights into marine life and sustainable farming. Let's dive in. Seahorses, classified under the genus Hippocampus, are fascinating marine creatures known for their horse-like heads, curled prehensile tails, and bony exoskeletons made of armored plates instead of scales. They inhabit shallow tropical and temperate coastal waters, where they anchor themselves to seagrasses, coral reefs, or mangrove roots using their tails. Due to their poor swimming ability, seahorses require calm, low-flow environments to survive and thrive. One of the most unique traits of seahorses is male pregnancy. Males can carry fertilized eggs in a brood pouch until they hatch. Their diet consists almost entirely of live small crustaceans such as copepods and amphipods. Understanding these biological and ecological needs is crucial when replicating natural conditions in captivity for successful seahorse farming and reproduction. Establishing a modern seahorse farm begins with selecting an ideal location, typically a coastal area, with access to clean, uncontaminated seawater or a well-designed land-based marine aquaculture facility. Consistent water quality is vital, requiring stable parameters such as temperature between 22 to 28 degrees Celsius, pH levels of 7.5 to 8.5, and salinity ranging from 20 to 35 parts per thousand. To achieve this, most advanced seahorse farms utilize recirculating aquaculture systems. These closed-loop systems filter and reuse water, significantly minimizing environmental impact while offering precise control over critical parameters. RAS setups typically include mechanical filters to remove waste particles, biological filters to neutralize ammonia and nitrites, and UV sterilizers to kill harmful pathogens. Aquarium tanks are designed to mimic natural habitats, incorporating artificial seagrasses or coral-like structures for seahorses to grip with their tails. Water flow is kept gentle, as seahorses are poor swimmers and cannot withstand strong currents. Farms also maintain separate tanks for broodstock, juveniles, and nursery phases to optimize care and development. Additionally, smart sensors connected to centralized control units offer round-the-clock monitoring. Advanced data analytics help detect early signs of stress or disease, enabling quick intervention and enhancing overall farm efficiency. Breeding seahorses in captivity requires precise management and modern technology to ensure genetic health and reproductive success. The process begins with the careful selection of healthy, mature broodstock possessing strong genetic diversity. DNA testing and genetic profiling are employed to avoid inbreeding and ensure a stable, disease-resistant population. To trigger mating behavior, farms use controlled photo periods, adjusting the duration and intensity of light, and finely tuned temperature settings that simulate seasonal changes. In some cases, regulated hormonal treatments are administered to enhance breeding success, though these are applied cautiously to maintain natural cycles. A unique aspect of seahorse reproduction is male pregnancy. Once mating occurs, the male carries the fertilized eggs in his brood pouch for two to four weeks. During this time, maintaining stable water conditions is critical. Automated systems supply high-quality live food like coat pods or enriched brine shrimp to meet the nutritional needs of both males and future offspring. Stress is minimized through reduced handling. After birth, the larvae are transferred to specialized rearing tanks featuring microalgae and live plankton cultures, gentle aeration, and precise temperature regulation. Automated sensors continuously monitor larval growth and survival, ensuring optimal care during this sensitive stage. Feeding seahorses efficiently is one of the most critical aspects of successful aquaculture, as these delicate fish rely on a steady diet of live prey to thrive. Traditionally, providing sufficient quantities of nutritious live food posed a major challenge, especially on a commercial scale. Modern seahorse farms now culture live prey such as coat pods, amphipods, and brine shrimp in tightly controlled environments. These organisms are bred in large quantities under optimal conditions to ensure high nutritional value and biosecurity. Automated feeding systems dispense live prey at programmed intervals, aligning with seahorses' natural feeding behavior and reducing labor intensity. 
To enhance the nutritional profile of live food, bioencapsulation techniques are used. This method involves enriching live prey with essential vitamins, minerals, fatty acids, and probiotics before feeding them to seahorses. Such supplements boost immune function, support healthy development, and improve overall survival rates. In parallel, researchers are developing high-quality artificial feeds designed to mimic the nutritional benefits of live prey. These formulated pellets aim to reduce reliance on live feed cultures and make seahorse farming more scalable, sustainable, and economically viable. Seahorses are carefully harvested for two main purposes, live specimens for aquariums and dried products used in traditional medicine. To protect these delicate creatures, automated gentle netting devices are employed, minimizing physical damage during capture. In some cases, sedation systems are used to ensure humane handling, reducing stress and harm to the seahorses. Once harvested, seahorses destined for medicinal use undergo advanced drying processes. Controlled drying chambers maintain precise temperature and humidity levels to preserve the seahorses' shape and important bioactive compounds. For high-value medicinal seahorses, freeze-drying is applied to retain their biochemical properties more effectively. Packaging is done in sterile environments to prevent contamination and maintain product quality. Additionally, blockchain technology is increasingly used to track seahorse batches from farm to market. This system supports sustainability certifications and helps combat illegal wildlife trade by ensuring full traceability throughout the supply chain. Marketing farm-raised seahorses requires strategic planning, regulatory compliance, and sustainability. Demand is growing globally, from aquarium hobbyists to traditional medicine markets, prompting farms to follow strict trade laws, especially cities, which lists all seahorse species. Species. Farms must obtain permits and verify that seahorses are captive bred to avoid links with illegal trade. Live seahorses are marketed based on health, color, and stress-free transport using oxygenated, temperature-controlled containers. Dried seahorses are graded by size and appearance for premium pricing. Quality certifications like GAP or Eco Labels enhance trust, and blockchain traceability adds transparency. Digital marketing, expos, and ethical distributor partnerships promote products while highlighting environmental benefits. With compliance and innovation, farms can succeed globally and support marine conservation. Sustainable seahorse farming focuses on minimizing environmental impact through advanced practices. Recirculating aquaculture systems filter and reuse water, reducing pollution and protecting nearby waterways. Genetic diversity programs ensure captive breeding maintains healthy, resilient populations without harming wild gene pools. Farms also develop eco-friendly feeds to reduce reliance on wild-caught crustaceans, easing pressure on marine ecosystems. Energy-efficient technologies, often powered by renewable sources like solar or wind, further lower the carbon footprint of operations. These combined efforts align seahorse aquaculture with global environmental goals, making it both economically viable and ecologically responsible while supporting the long-term conservation of natural seahorse habitats. Seahorse farming is evolving through advanced technologies and conservation initiatives. Tools like CRISPR may boost disease resistance and growth, though ethical concerns remain. Automated farms with robotic Robotic systems and AI-driven monitoring will improve care, environmental control, and overall efficiency. Increasingly, farms also aid conservation by breeding endangered seahorse species for reintroduction into the wild, helping restore natural populations. This dual focus, commercial production and species preservation, supports biodiversity and meets sustainability targets. As innovation continues, seahorse aquaculture is expected to become more precise, ethical, and impactful, ensuring a stable future for both farm-raised and wild seahorses. As we've seen, cutting-edge technology, from AI monitoring and automated feeding to sustainable water systems, is revolutionizing how we care for these delicate creatures while protecting our oceans. By combining science, innovation, and environmental responsibility, modern seahorse farms are not only meeting growing demand, but also supporting conservation efforts for future generations. What other marine animals do you think could benefit from similar farming innovations? Let us know in the comments. Comments. If you enjoyed this exploration of marine life and sustainable aquaculture, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more eye-opening videos on advanced farming techniques, ocean conservation, and the fascinating world beneath the waves.